Thank you for joining me to keep up with what's new in the fast world of data science. Now buckle up and leap inside the black box. Grubhub got slammed last week. Restaurant owners are shocked to learn that the leading online food delivery platform is tricking its customers by running shadow websites. But oddly, what Grubhub is doing is similar to how Google makes money from search ads. When you and I order food from Grubhub, the restaurant pays a fee. If Grubhub is responsible for the sale, the restaurant owner is charged an additional 20%. That's a lot of money. In the marketing world, we call this a lead generation fee. This fee structure creates a bad incentive. Grubhub wants every owner to pay the lead gen fee. So it runs a network of shadow websites that pretend to be official restaurant websites. For example, if the official website is called excellentsushihouse.com, Grubhub might run one called excellentsushihouse.net. A diner usually cannot tell which is the official website. So if she orders from the .net website, the restaurant owner has to pay Grubhub the lead generation fee. Restaurant owners hate this because that diner is going to put in the order with or without Grubhub. So she isn't an incremental customer. Shockingly, Google plays the same game. A brand such as Bad Bath & Beyond buys its own brand name on Google. So if you go search for Bad Bath & Beyond on Google, the first result is an ad. If you click on that result, Bad Bath & Beyond pays a lead generation fee to Google. Google is just a toll booth because you are visiting the Bad Bath & Beyond website with or without Google. So you're not an incremental visitor. Much of the spending in digital marketing today is wasted because businesses are paying lead generation fees for customers who are not incremental. If you like this video, please help us build our channel by sharing it and hitting that subscribe button. See you next time inside the black box. Principal Analytics Prep. Prepping you for the data revolution.